Hello, everyone, and welcome to Zupla! <laughs> I wanted to do a video uh, like I did the last time, the last time, like one of the Zillow videos that I did where I looked at the most expensive houses in certain areas. And because I'm about to go on tour in the Europe and the UK, get your tickets now, I have to do this show. I thought maybe I would look at the highest priced places in different parts of the UK. What does POA mean? Point of ass? Probably. Nine bed terraced house for sale. For 55 million quid, in it? There's only one image. Get out of here. Come on. 46 million on Brook Street in London. This looks pretty cool, actually. This looks kind of. Sick, actually. First thing that I'm noticing is that it's not super boring instead. Like, this looks nice. Like, I, some other people might like it, but I don't mind this at all. You know, it's a little proper with some of the sconces and the paintings and stuff, but like this thing over here is pretty cool. And obviously, they're staging it to look like really, really nice. That window is kind of cool. These doors, kind of cool. I like this place. You know, I, being a person who has 46 million pounds, would definitely buy this place. Ooh, and there's a little rooftop thing. You know what? I like it. Ooh, and this modern looking place? What do we think about this so far? It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Having that much art on the walls looks a little bit weird, but is that Walt Disney? Whoever's editing, enhance. Enhance again. Enhance further, even more. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Maybe. <laughs> is this a cross? No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was a giant cross. I. I like this place. It's kind of cool. Is this a TV? Why does it look like it's just like a mirror that's like sitting up against the wall? That's pretty cool. You have a bidet separate from the toilet. That's fancy as hell. But, <laughs> but not super, like I'd rather just have it built into the toilet, you know? I don't want to have to transfer my shitty ass into the other seat, you know? That feels weird. Ooh. This looks um, very kind of weird a little bit. I don't really like that. And the movie room is decent, a bit more of a chill area. But I like the, the gym and the pool are right there because you can work out and then take a dip in the pool. This stuff is all really close together. It, it seems a little bit cramped. And you have a sauna and a massage room. Pretty cool. You have a trampoline. Also pretty cool. All right, London. Any all right? Not so bad. Not so bad. Pretty good so far. What is this? Premium. Better be premium if I'm playing 35 million pounds for it. 36 is about 40 million US dollars. Okay, now I don't like this as much. This seems like a hotel. Also, when are you ever going to use that much pool? Be honest. Be honest. This is very pretty. It is very pretty and very cool looking. But, but from the outside, it's just like kind of weird. You know, it's a little weird. It looks like some sort of like fancy museum or something. Well, you've been barely even showed me anything. You showed me this little area, but I want to see what the kitchen looks like. I want to see the other places. Come on now. <laughs> I want to see if they have 3D views, baby. Five bed. It's a five bedroom, $35 million. Is South Street in London a good location? It better be. Wait, this is not the whole, is this the whole thing? Or do you only get part of this? I feel like you only get part of this. Or do you get the whole thing? Oh, I feel like you get the whole thing. Oh no, I don't like this at all. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This versus this seems weird. Like this part is really nice, but this seems, they don't look, the style is not consistent. 
and I don't like that. It, this feels weird. It feels weird. It feels awkward. I don't like it. What is this room? <laughs> Why do these look like two giant urns? Oh, we keep grandma and grandpa at the edge of the bed. Hmm, the bathroom's kind of cool. It's a little creepy, but it's kind of cool. All right. That place was boring. I don't like it. Okay, hold on. Wait, we're going to go to S Sweden. Swedish people have good taste. Except the cookies. Slut prizer. <laughs> Oh man, and it's 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 the Swedish kroner too. I have no idea what that looks like. Oh god. Um What's slut prizer? What does slut prizer mean? Oh, Rumflest. Oh god. Oh god. We're going to go here. We're going to go by Stockholm because I'm doing a show in Stockholm. Okay. I have no idea how much these houses are. Is this expensive? Is it fair? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, here we go. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. This is the most for sure. This is uh, it's on Boston. Oh, on Boston. This is hold on. 175 million kroner. So this is 15 million. This is 15 million. I mean, it's nice, but 15 million nice. I do not think so. I do not think so. It's nice looking. This bathroom is a liminal space. I really don't like this bathroom. I really don't like that bathroom. It makes me feel bad. Yeah, why is that 15 million dollars? Let's try this bad boy over here. Okay, so 150. So this is like this is like 10 mil, something like that. It's very nice. How many bedrooms? 49, maybe. <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. Uh, I oh, that kitchen. Oh, I really like that kitchen. That's a cool kitchen. That's a really cool kitchen. In the closet. Ooh. Ooh. This house is a hole. So look at the cool window. There's so much style and class, you know? This is cool looking. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And you seem to be in like downtown Stockholm, which is pretty sweet. Ooh, this bathroom is kind of a vibe. Ooh, this room. I don't even know what it is, but it's kind of a vibe. Ooh, this gym is fine. <laughs> Okay, I like the spiral staircase. The spiral staircase. That's a cool house. That is a cool house. I like that. I like that a lot. It's interesting looking. This doesn't even look like a real house. It looks like a render. It's like a modern castle. The way that it's built out of stone. Ooh. Pretty cool on the inside. Like, it doesn't really feel like a home from that photo. This is nice, though. And you're right on the water. Very nice. Ooh, I love it when they include houseplants. So there's a garage. There's a store, cox, so, cox, matplots. You have to have that. Let's go to Northern Ireland. The highest property is $3 million. Whoa. This place is sick. Look at this guy, huh? That's pretty nice. This is a very nice house. It's not like crazy over the top like some of the other most expensive ones. This is this is just a a nice house. <gasps> but then you have that giant that fucking massive indoor pool. Like this looks like a relatively normal living room. Am I right? Can, can we all agree that this looks relatively normal? Like it's a very nice living room. Um, but it's not like over the top like some of these other houses, but then you have this giant Massive fucking indoor pool Damn so much land. Oh my god so much land. You have fucking mini golf or putting course god look at all this land How many lands is it eight acres? Oh man, you get eight acres of land. That's so cool. Okay, we're going, we're going back to near uh, near London. Let's see what this is for thirty million. Ooh, this. Whoa. Imagine living in a place like this. It's weird. 
it's weird, you know? Imagine being a, there are people that live in houses like this. Like I'm at, like this is your house? Like it's cool but also weird and like kind of bad at the same time where it's just like it doesn't feel like a home in any way. Like you have a whole this is for wine, I think. I'm assuming by the back thing, but also maybe shoes, I'm not sure. There's so much space. So much space for stuff that you're not even really using. Also, this sucks. This is stupid. Just get one screen. Why do you have to have one, two, three? Why do you have to have nine screens? Just get one big screen instead of nine smaller screens. This is beautiful, though. This is beautiful. Imagine for my adults in the room. Just come up here. Smoke a little bit of weed. Okay, just taking a little bit of a toke off the old J and looking out at that. Oh, that's a nice evening. Oh, what an afternoon. Oh, man. What is a detached house? This is 11 bedroom detached house. This is like a James Bond ass house. Damn. You have a bowling alley? What are you, the president? Are the bowling balls? Hold on, enhance again. The bowling balls are fucking chrome. What? <laughs> also, when are you ever having that many people? Well, uh, probably fairly regularly, actually. Imagine uh, you're living in a house. If you live in a house like this, you have a staff, right? You have like a whole staff of people that are just there. All the oh, that's so cool, though. I do really love cars a lot. That's so cool. You drive up and then it, it turns the car. That's kind of awesome. Oh, wow. Is this on the same level or is this up? I think this is up. It's unbelievable that that's a real house. So if you put down 3 million on the house over 25 years with a 6.5% interest rate, which is a really big interest rate, you're paying almost $200,000 a month. So you're paying $175,000 a month just for the mortgage, okay? That place is huge. So your electric bill is probably a few thousand dollars a month. Your water bill is probably, I don't know, oh, probably so much because you have the pools, you have the hot tubs, you have like all that stuff. Your, your electric bill, like your heating is so much. And then you're paying people to take care of the lawn. You're paying people to like clean the house. Cause if you have a $30 million house, you're not cleaning it yourself. You spent $30 million on it. God, like hundreds of thousands of dollars a month is what you're spending for this. Like maybe like for upkeep for this house, three, four, maybe $500,000 a month. This is obviously including the mortgage because it's almost $200,000 for the mortgage alone. That's insane, isn't it? That's fucking bloody mental, isn't it? Oh, fucking hell. Jesus fucking all right, isn't it? Okay. Shit. <laughs> Most expensive house in the world. Isn't it that one that's like in LA? Isn't there one in LA? It's called like The One and it's half a billion dollars. Yeah, this one. It's called The One, and it, like, kind of sucks. It's, like, not a good house, actually. Yep, yeah, this one. It's $500 million. It's riddled with debt and legal issues. It's 105,000 square feet. It's America's most expensive and largest residence. What? This looks like it came out of Squidward's, like, avant-garde dance show. <laughs> How much? It's 385 million. Are you kidding me? Oh no, I, it's in cans. Okay, that's part of the reason. Oh my God. 39 bathrooms, 29 bedrooms. Oh my boy. Yellowstone Club. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's in Montana, 155 million. This looks like the hotel from The Shining. So many crazy houses. So few people interested in buying them, it seems, because I, just, it's cool looking. I get, I'm not buying it. I just like, even if I had the money, I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. Fifty-seven thousand square feet. 
Jesus Christ. 123 rooms. You're buying a hotel. That's what you're doing. You're not buying a house. You're buying a hotel. Ugh! Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to end this here before I get mad and throw myself out a window. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming with me through my journey on Zoopla. The world's finest place for houses, but only in the UK, okay? If you're in the UK or in Europe, I'm going on tour. Tickets are on sale right now. Right here. Get them before they're gone. See you later. Well, I am ending this here. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you thought about these crazy. I can't believe the bowling balls were made of chrome. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Yes.